now let's edit the notebook okay so let's go to route web.php and we will create new route so I will copy and paste this one so uh, get slash and notebooks or whatever name you want to keep okay so we are pa we will pass id this is the placeholder okay so this should go to edit so what this route is doing is this will take us to the edit forms where we can uh, put new data and edit the notebook so let's uh, go to controller and uh, let's define this edit method so let's make let me make new method uh, edit so we are passing some data in URL so we have to cast that here so you can give whatever name so we'll get this ID very in ID variable so next we need to find the notebook with that ID so notebook where uh, id is equals to this id which we will be passing okay so this is how we access the data in a database okay yeah, so now so first so first data so you need to uh, put this okay otherwise that will not fetch the data so if you are fetching only one data you should put first okay if you are fetching many data using this where you should put get here okay so uh, let's assign that to any variable notebook so here let's first let's check whether this is working or not okay so notebook uh, now our route and our controller is defined so we should put this to link so let's uh, go back to browser and open that up notebook app so this is home page but we need to go to our notebooks view suppose we want to edit uh, this one okay with the name database okay so at the moment this link is pointing us nowhere so we have to make this link so that this should match this url this okay so that we can get to this method and we can perform this thing so let's do it now so remember this view is inside our uh, resources resources and inside notebooks index view okay so here is our link edit notebook and here is link at the moment it is pointing nowhere so let's make that uh, to point somewhere so i think this is right time to tell you about uh, naming the route okay so we can name uh, give it some name okay so that we can use here or you uh, we can just use a uh, url parameter okay so either we'll do this uh, work so let's first go about doing the traditional way and we'll do using that uh, route naming okay in a moment so here notebook notebook slash and id of notebook okay so notebook id so this url is expecting some variable so we have to pass the id of notebook which we want to edit so we are passing slash notebook slash id so that notebook here here we are getting that variable and we are passing that and if we save and go here and check okay undefined variable notebook so here is typo N O T E. So now, if we hover over this, you can see down here. Okay, uh, was here. 
it is uh, showing one two so our link is working so if we hit this uh, uh, link we should get the data related to that database okay so this is working this is working okay so now uh, now that uh, we get this thing we should pass this uh, data this data uh, related to this notebook okay this data okay to uh, notebook edit form so we will be needing this data in our edit form where we will edit our notebook okay so let's pass that to um, So new view notebooks dot edit. Okay, we'll be uh, let's create that here. Well, let's create in a moment. So uh, let's pass this data to this view. We can pass that uh, using width. Okay, a uh, name of variable actually you can give this is the placeholder okay you can give whatever name and you can access using this name notebook slash and data associated with this uh, variable so name is notebook okay so we are passing this data to this view so let's create that edit view inside notebooks so new file save that as edit dot plate dot psp so our edit form will be similar to our create form so let's just copy this to our edit okay so here we will change something so not create notebook edit also uh, this will be same but the method will be uh, put okay so also our action will be also different so this should submit the uh, its data to another method which we'll create in a moment so why not uh, just create that route so like we did in our store method okay we made our index view and we uh, sorry create the form and we submit that data to store okay similarly we made edit okay so which will lead us to edit form and if if we are at edit form and we should submit data to our update uh, up, update method okay so let's make that route first so, so this is our edit and let's let me just copy and paste this and it will be uh, put put method okay so URL will be same okay because uh, so these two URL are different okay this is with get request and this is with put request so no need to change that you can change okay slash store but that is uh, just uh, not good so this would point to update method let's create that update method here update so update will be similar to this also because we are receiving requests uh, sorry form data also we are receiving ID of form which form we want to update okay so here also we'll do the same thing first we'll find the notebook okay like here yeah, so why not just copy this and paste here so first we'll find the notebook okay and we will update that like so so this is the notebook slash so update update with the request request all okay so request all is 
all data from our edit form okay so after this task is done we should return uh, redirect redirect to some URL so also if you want to go to uh, URL where you just came from you can type back also okay so at the moment let's go back to notebooks okay so now let's go to edit form okay here notebooks edit so here now we should point to this url slash with id okay so notebook id so you might be wondering where we get this variable from that's uh, we get it from uh, here so here we are passing this data so let's pass this notebook not notebooks okay that will not work so this notebook so key this is the key this is the value okay so we are accessing this value here in notebook id okay so this is the action and also uh, since we are uh, defining your put method okay so our browser will not understand put okay so that's why we have to tell browser that uh, we are uh, using that request so how do we do that so same as so we'll do that using method field and we should specify which method put put or patch whatever you can use okay so like so so our edit form is so why not just keep update so i think now we are good to go let's go to our browser and check this So we should go to notebooks and let's edit this form yeah we are getting edit form and the name was database now let's change to new database or new data okay let's update yeah here this is working okay new database so we are successfully editing our form okay So next uh, we'll uh, go about deleting this data, okay, deleting notebooks. So how do we do this? So we already have this delete button by default in our template, but this will do nothing, okay, because this is pointing to no URL that is defined in our routes or web.php. So let's go to the index page where this all this template is so that we can point this link to somewhere where we, we can delete okay so let's go to index notebook index so views here it is so our delete button is here so so uh, I've already made this delete form okay because uh, like edit this uh, link will not work for delete okay because delete is a separate type of request okay uh, that should submit its data okay that's why we have to use form and remove this input mm -hmm. so in case of edit this is just pointing us to that form but in case of delete we are submitting data to database so that's why we need delete form okay so if you see this form is by default so now this is just bootstrap class and action we should define it now and let's do it so it should also point to some url so we'll define that slash notebook slash so with notebook id okay so we need id otherwise we can't recognize which 
note we are deleting sorry which notebook we are deleting so as we are looping through this data uh, we can access this notebook variable accessible okay so now method will be post so uh, there is separate method called delete okay so we uh, put this uh, post in form because our browser will not understand other method okay so that we put post here but we have to pull uh, put here delete csrf sorry method fil field okay delete so let's go to web.php and copy and paste this and just change this to delete so url will be same okay notebooks and notebooks id okay these uh, three look identical but uh, notice this request type is different okay so they are different urls so let's point is point it to delete or destroy okay destroy so let's define that method in our notebooks destroy so we will be accessing id uh, also we will be first finding the notebook which notebook to delete okay like this one just copy and paste this okay notebook where id is equals to this id and get me the first data okay that will just get me uh, get us one data so next we will delete that so now we have this notebook and we can delete by calling this delete method okay while updating we call update while creating we call create method okay these are all the method defined inside okay laravel so yeah so return to same we should redirect to same url so that we can see the notes notebooks so now let's test that hope oh, everything is working so here is some extra braces let's fix that <coughs> so token mismatch means uh, you have to every time you define the form you should put csrf field okay so remember that csrf field so put that in index.blade okay where your, your delete form is so now that should do the work so if the refreshing doesn't work okay so just go to notebooks and do it again yeah so that note is gone okay so now we can delete notebook so look this is working so now you learn how to update and delete the notebooks okay so next we'll talk about how to add notes to this notebook and we'll talk about relationships okay eloquent relationships so that will be coming up next <laughs>